Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Well... Here we go, guys. It's like this, Doc. I'm a different Marty McFly. Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. No. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? I'm, I'm all right, dude. Uh... Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. Right, let's do no, this thing. set me straight? Well, I try. Explain. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. I know this is going to be hard for you to swallow, Doc, but I'm not from around here. I'm from a different timeline where Hill Valley isn't all screwed up and there aren't these crazy rules and, and my dad's not a snoop and my mom's not a drunk and, and you're my best friend in the whole space-time continuum. An old fogey like me? Yeah. Your best friend? Yeah, I was yes. thinking that. And Doc, I need you to get me back there. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yeah. Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. No. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? <laughs> the sauce. Ha! <laughs> Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Dumb question. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. But it was important for some reason. <laughs> fascinating. It's true. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. you got to believe me. How do you get out of this, this one? this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. My well, life is used right. You no. Yes, I, I no. mean no. What no. I mean is, it's messed up a lot of things. But first, it made a lot of things better, uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. Yes. Yes. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. Yes. This case is more serious than I'd imagine. No! No! The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. You remember Sonny Crockett, right? No, Here we this go. This is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. Yes, you are. You blame me for everything. Ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Right. Um, um always good take stuff. Your um, time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your, your memory. Right. The clock tower. The clock. It's always the clock that tower. That clock looks familiar. It's the clock tower. The blasted clock tower. Movie you ticket. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed, I do. Moment of my first date with Edna. Have I, I got? To see the virtuous husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. Oh no. I was supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Oh my goodness Inspired me. Inspired by Frankenstein. How whimsical, not to mention historically inaccurate. 
My Dolly wife has all the scientific views I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? Success. It's supposed to be a failure. Wait, what? That's interesting. That's the clock! I've just seen the clock tower. Wait, have I got anything? How about his notebook? I shouldn't show it to him. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Wait, wait, wait. If, but if he never had it, then they should that never be there, be right? Notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. Okay. What's that? A photo of Einstein. It's better if I keep this on me at all times. Einstein. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Yes. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. Yes. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. It's the same There's dog! natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler, too, thanks to your invention. How do we find Einstein? Uh, oh. Impressively detailed delusion. Oh, detail is delusion. Talk. It's true. It's like me being an actor. It's just everything's a bit delusional. All right, what the clock, the monitor's... Thing, the symbol. The symbol? I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Touchdown! Half full, touchdown. Marty. Right. Half full. They're always half full. Right. Wow. Oh, window. That is cool. The sound. It. Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right. Wait, what was I doing? I don't know. I got confused. Have I got anything here that I could show him? That would make sense. No. Got a picture of me in at the prom on my own. That won't work. How about what's this? What is this? So picture? that's what Judge Brown looked like. I Did... never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm spazzing out. Support after oh. my wife, of course. I'm fading. That's a switch. <laughs> Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I... That is. Uh, yes, it's right. Oh, bizarre, goodness fantasy. sake. Go on. Proceed. Hmm. There's going to be something here. Monitors. Let's have a look at the monitors. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. That's right. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. It is. How about through this door? What's through the door? Absolutely nothing. The symbol, the monitors. What is this? Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. <laughs> it looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931, it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Oh, yes. Remember? Stop trying to confuse I'm me. not confusing you. You know what's that? My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to no. shape a more efficient, orderly society. La, I should really go back to the car. It's a fact. Go look it up. But you know better, right? <sighs> Emmett? I, I, wrong. Wait, what's he done? What's he done? What's this? What's this? Did you see this picture? Yes. I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment. Where, Where am I? I'm in it. I'm in it. Clear. There we are. August Both of us. 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kit. How does he not recognize? Look at yourself. Single-handedly. Look. And not incidentally, the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. No, we're both there. Views of the love of my life. Take a look. What yes. See there is look. A young man who understands his. And there's death. me. And you! That's not what I see. What do you see? Do you see it? Not you, but him. Come on, give me an option. Give me a... Don't you dare lag on me now. Come on, game. Load! What do you see, sir? Look. Look at it. Look at it. Martin Doc. Could that be? I think yes, it, it is. Yes, it is. It is. What? It is. It's me. And you. The, the other, other you. Look at it. Look at it. It is me. Yes, it is. And you. Yeah. But how? Time travel. Ah. Oh. Sonny. Oh, there we go. It's impossible. It's no, not impossible. It's science. Your science, Doc. Yes. In this yes. other world, the one you say you come from, am I? Am I happy there? Yes, you're so happy. Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons. Yes. yes and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? No. Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? 
you know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! Oh, there dear. are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. Uh, you don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. No, it, Doc, it, kindly address me as your honor. I was so close. We've worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Well. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. I, I... Fine, but I'll be back with proof. 